Hey everybody, this is Vicki, also known as Grandma Ladybug, and I am here today to show you my first, my most biggest haul that I have gotten from um, another jewelry jar person. Um, I have been watching um, everybody on the internet, and um, I um, watch everybody's videos, I'm going to tell you that. But... Um, Someone in particular caught my eye, and her name is Frugal Gal, and you all know Frugal Gal. She cracks everybody up. She's got a great sense of humor, but on top of that, she has marvelous quality merchandise. So um, I received this big box. It's the uh, medium flat rate box, and it's full. Um, but I also know that there is a big old box of beads in there for me. So um, I've already opened it. She had put a little card in, and um, when I read it, I decided to go ahead and make a video of the haul. So um, I know that this big bag in here is a big old box of beads. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out and put it out of the way. Okay, you can put the camera on. So, ooh, I'm seeing lots and lots of um, little baggies in here. I'm so excited. I'm like a kid at Christmas time. And um, I want to thank you, Frugal Gal, because I pretty much said, um, it's up to you. Send me um, what you will, because I know that all of her um, jewelry is top quality so anything that I get from her and you know what I think I'm going to open this first because and ignore that there's a phone going off oh yes we are videoing on a camera today as opposed to a um, phone so I'm hoping that I can learn to do this by myself and I might need a pair of scissors um, do this by myself so I don't have to bother my daughter anymore. I can just set up a little area in my bedroom and um, do this all myself. And that way I can do videos whenever I have a chance. To, like 6 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't sleep well a lot of times, so thank you. So, um, you know, I'm up whenever I'm up. Sometimes I have pretty bad insomnia, and then other times, um, I can go to sleep, you know, it just depends, but this first thing I'm going to show you is, I'm almost certain, are you in the jewelry? Okay, this is a good spot, good spot. Yeah. I believe that this is one of Frugal Gal's favorite pieces. This is a pin, and it's white on the front with little silver pistols, and the center is white. And then on the back, it's silver, and it says mm -hmm. Sarah Coventry. So it's silver on the back and white on the front. That is very pretty because it's like the silver is like a shadow to the white almost. I really like that. And maybe this isn't the one that she said was one of her favorite brooches, but I know it was a white one. But at any rate, if it's your favorite one, thank you for sending it to me. Then the next one is a heart. It looks like maybe a deep navy color or a black it's hard to tell with my glasses and the lighting, but then it's got a crisscross of like gold rope or beading across the front of it. And on the back it says AK. Not sure who that is, but I will look it up. If you can see it in the back there, you can see the little cartouche maybe where the where it is down here in the middle. Okay. All right, so here's the heart. Very nice. Ooh, here's another flower brooch, and this one has enameling on it. This um, is an iris, 
and um, it's got a gold backing. There you see your pen. And look at the colors on that, the purple and the teal. Can you see the colors? Okay, isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. <laughs> I saw her open this one not too long ago. The little, um, I don't know if that's a pug or what that is, but it's a little puppy dog. And it's got um, dangly feet, dangly legs, whatever that is. But he's a cute little guy. And he also has, he's a back, he, a blah. If I could talk right today, he has a black backing, so you sort of see the trim around um, his whole body. I think that's really cute, and it kind of makes the colors pop. But he is a little cutie. So we're going to open up this one next. I was watching Cindy, the jewelry nurse's video yesterday, and um, she mentioned um, that I knot pearls, and um, Princess Casserole, Carla, um, mentioned that she subbed to my um, video because she would really like to see. I told her I had a little gadget that I used and she said she wanted to see how I um, did the pearls. So um, who knows, I may one day um, do a little, not a class because I do not consider myself a teacher, but maybe just a little, I don't know, I don't even want to use the word tutorial, but something showing you how I um, uh, bead or not um, pearls. Everybody does it differently and everybody uses a different tool, but um, I will show you the one that I use. This is gorgeous. Uh, this is green agate, a slice of green agate, and agate is one of my favorite gemstones. When I first started making jewelry, I got agate of every color, every shape. My daughter said, Mom, do you like agate or what? And then it's got some shell beads here, green as well, and then some braided string of some sort, maybe might even be like a, a faux suede, and then some little uh, green and gold seed beads. So. Um, and the shell beads have orange, or not orange, yellow tones on them as well, gold. So um, the green and the gold all look good together. So there you go. A three-strand <coughs> necklace with um, a really nice size slice of agate. Apparently the camera only lets you do eight and a half minute videos. You're kidding me. Is there any way to change that? Okay, what's your camera? <laughs> that I won. I thought that you had made videos with this camera before. Okay, sorry for the uh, uh, banter back and forth. Um, maybe having a, a little um, issue with our camera. Evidently, um, it may only let us try to let us do eight minute long videos. I mm -hmm. Put them all together. Okay. Um, so if there's a little bit of slicing and dicing and splicing going on, you'll know why. This is a beautiful gold town, gold, blah, gold tone bracelet. And um, on the back, it is signed, and it's Coro. I know everybody's heard of Coro. I've got several Coro. <laughs> and when I said that, my daughter mouthed, not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know of it now. This is beautiful. And I should have brought, this is probably about a seven inch, maybe seven and a half inch bracelet. Um, I should have brought a ruler out, but um, it's a nice size. It's not, I wear about a six and a half wrist. Um, so I'm, I'm going to guess this is about a seven and a half inch with the um, box clasp.
Oh my, three more bracelets in this little baggie. Okay. Here we have a silver tone bracelet with <clears throat> blue and white stones. Actually, I don't know if they're stones for sure. They don't feel as cold as stones would. I think they're maybe uh, glass cabochons. And that little jump ring there is um, giving me a little fit. Um, I will have to... Oh, there it is. Very pretty. This bright royal blue is very pretty. I'm loving it. If I can get the jump rings to behave themselves. So... And on the end it has a box clasp. And, oh, she brought me a ruler. Just gonna take my fishing line off. I'm gonna take the fishing line off. Okay, this one's seven inches. I was actually gonna guess about seven and a half again, so I'm glad that you brought that over because I would have guesstimated wrong. Very pretty. Here we have another silver tone bracelet. And this one has these are carved beads on here. And I think they're like little chips. And they actually feel cool, but um, I'm thinking that they are glass as well. Well, I, I don't have a little mark that I can stand on the X, you know. Silver plate with the box clasp as well and um, I don't see a name on this one but it's very pretty those green I mean I thought it was carved at first but I think those are little chips I'm not gonna say for sure what they're little chips of they're either glass or I, I might say possibly peridot but I don't know that for a fact I would have to check that out um, but at any rate this one is seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half. So this one is seven and a half inches in length. And here we have a fourth bracelet in that um, little baggie. And this one, these stones are cold. These stones are real. The first one is um, Snowflake Obsidian. The second one is, I'm going to say, an Agate. Um, I'm not sure about the third one. That is not Lapis because there's no Pyrite in it. Um, but it could very well be um, Sodalite. Well, Lapis Lazuli. The Lazuli is what has the gold Pyrite. Okay, well, maybe I'm just so used lapis. to getting the good lapis lazuli. Okay, and this is this pink one with the uh, striations in it. That is rhodochrosite. And this stone alone is a very expensive stone. Um, you'll find it's um, less expensive, more easily accessed rhodonite quicker than you will find rhodochrosite. But rhodonite has mm -hmm. gray okay. striations. Yeah. Good. So this is a better, was it blurry up closer? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is a test video with the uh, new camera. Please bear with us. This last one, or not this last one, there's two left. This black one here is, I'm pretty sure, is black agate with a little banding of the white going through there. Um, and Frugal Gal, if you um, have any other information other than what I'm saying, um, go ahead and leave the message in the comments. Um, I, I don't mind being stand corrected um, if I'm giving false information or erroneous information. And this last piece is, I'm pretty sure, Jasper. And there are a lot of Jaspers, probably one of the cats. Right here? We're okay right here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. All right. Right on this flower. Okay. Because it's coming down and it's getting your button. Oh, is my button closed or is it gaping? <laughs> I 
Okay, the button's closed. Here's some more goodies in a bag. Oh, here we have this is the seed beads, and um, this is like one of those bracelets. This is my um, seed bead bracelet um, for this haul. <laughs> it's very pretty, it has yellow gold colored seed beads. And there are three strands that it's braided together with, and then it comes together um, on the ends here with wire and some little dangles. Okay? And that one you cannot measure. I, there's no way I could stretch that out. This next one looks like a little twisted. This looks like uh, brass. And it actually looks like real brass. There's no marking inside, but I love the twisted design that it has from one end all the way to the other end. And then it almost looks like it has... Three, two, one. It almost looks like it has um, a little bit of design on every other ring. Almost makes it look like XO, XO, XO if you look at it real close. I'm not going to put it up real close because I don't know how um, blurry it will get. But this is a really cute bracelet. You can squeeze it tight to fit a little tiny wrist. Or you can open it up to accommodate um, a bigger wrist. Very cute. I like that. Then the next one is, it's a clamper. I can tell because there's a hinge. Okay. It's got gold, almost like a pebble design on the inside. And there's no name that I can see. But you've got this beautiful, um, like a cream color enameling with um, green and red and gold designing. Oh, green, red, and gold. I guess that means it's a Christmas bracelet. Would that be correct, Frugal Gal? A Christmas bracelet? <laughs> it's a clamper. And let me put it on here. Yeah, you can see I've got a lot of give here that if you wanted if you wanted to uh, a smaller wrist for wear it or also a larger wrist as well. Pretty. And I do like that it emulates the Christmas colors. Did that one appeal to you? I just wanted a closer look. Okay. It's something that Grandma would wear. Yes. It is something Grandma would wear. Talking about my mom. Of course, I know she can't watch these videos because they do not have internet where they live, so I'm safe in saying... My mom would wear anything that one of us girls gave her as far as jewelry. And if she didn't like it, as soon as we were out of our sight, she would take it off. But she would wear it for a while while we were with her. Okay. These next things I just opened up here. This one, let me pull these other ones back here. I hope it doesn't concentrate on everything back here. This is a bobby pin with a beautiful uh, faux pearl um, design in white and gold. Isn't that pretty? With my hairstyle the way it is, I sometimes wear clips and bobby pins um, in my hair. So this is nice. I am looking forward. Oh, look, another bobby pin. Here we have a silver tone bobby pin with the little design here on the end with a little um, stone, a little crystal. Awesome. I will be able to, oh, I think there's another one here. Oh, look at the blue stone. But they have the design upside down. Pardon? 
they have the designs upside down on the bobby pins. What do you mean? When you use a bobby pin, normally the glue dot is on the bottom one, this little shorter one, mm -hmm. because that's the one that you stick. Well, this doesn't have first. a glue dot. Yeah, and they put the glue dot on this longer one because that well, way this the is the way the design is. Bobby pins didn't have glue dots. They did. did it was they? to protect your scalp. Okay, I don't know. I just remember That's all the older ones I had, like, ripped my scalp to pieces. <laughs> well, probably because they were old, too. Like, you know. Here's another silver tone bobby pin with a beautiful <clears throat> cabochon on there. Um, I'm pretty sure it's glass, but it really is a pretty color. And um, I've got a dress that this would look really nice with. And the rest of the shiny stuff that fell out of here, one, oh, this is tiger eye, and it's a tie tack, uh, a tie pin. Um, and if you can see, there's a, a emerald cut piece of tiger eye in there. I don't know if you're able to see the tiger eye or not, but um, it's a a tie tack and then there are two sweater and you know what I could have used this earlier this week <laughs> I have a cardigan sweater that does not have buttons on it and I was just thinking man why couldn't I have dug one of these things out in one of my jars that I've gotten but to my knowledge I've gotten the ones that have the little loops that go over buttons but if your sweater doesn't have buttons on it doesn't do any good whereas these have like the alligator teeth this is a pretty rose I'm sorry a pretty um, gold tone color with a pearl in the center and then the clip has those little alligator teeth well that's hard to pinch open I guess it's to grip your sweater good that's what the little teeth are for yeah yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah, I did. Oh. And this one, oh, I know what this is. These are actually, these are, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say these are totally vintage. You know what, I didn't check to see if these had a name on them. Okay, I don't see a name right off the bat. But everything has good color. I wouldn't have been surprised if it was Monet. This set also does not have a name on. However, they've got little... It's probably just part of the design. But it's got almost like a place to put a monogram in the, the center there. And this one has, this is a little glass pendant that has a mustard seed in there. No name. That's just beautiful. So whenever you have your sweater clipped, you've got almost like a piece of jewelry, like a little necklace hanging between um, the fronts of your sweater. In case you forgot to wear any jewelry that day. That's beautiful. And I love the, the mustard seed. It's beautiful. Okay. Lots of little baggies here. And there's a tin in this box, too. Um, and um, it appears to be pretty heavy. So I'm guessing there's something in the tin. Here. Oh my goodness. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this dainty? Oh, isn't this backwards? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I was looking at it from the back, not realizing yeah. there was white. There you go. Perfect. This, Two, is a, this is a beautiful, like a little bib necklace. Very dainty, very beautiful. Very little wear, maintained its color. Let me see if it has a name on it somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not seeing a name, but I 
like I said, I wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> it's beautiful. The back is just as pretty as the front is, only without the, the white beads. Oh my, that's gorgeous. I don't know, Frugal Gal. I might have to keep this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's gorgeous. There are times when I like big, bold pieces, and then there are times when I like feminine dainty pieces, and that is definitely a feminine dainty piece. I like it a lot. <clears throat> Got a couple pieces in here. Okay, here first. Here we have white, and these are definitely glass. These are not plastic. And they are white. I wouldn't even be surprised if these were milk glass. I don't believe I have received milk glass before. I'm not seeing any name on it either. Oh my, that's pretty and delicate. And down in the front where the neck is, there are three little spacer beads that have crystals in them and you can tell that this is very vintage very vintage the crystals still have a little bit of their um, glow about them but um, I mean you can definitely tell this is vintage this is beautiful you're making it hard for me frugal girl I try not to keep too many of my pieces but you're making it hard on me hun Ooh, here's a beautiful brooch. Look at that. Now, if that doesn't look Victorian, I don't know what is. And look at that red. Nice bright red and then the big faux pearl in the center. And then you have your gold plating and your safety catch back here. Very pretty. Very pretty. And here we have, oh my gosh, these are, I'm going to say these are just about the tiniest pair of earrings, and I would not have known what they were, except I got a very similar pair um, myself, and I just thought it was a little piece of bric-a-brac put together. Um, now I can see on the back of the earring it says patent pending. says that on both of them so I don't see a name but whoever made them they are cute cute little earrings they're actually um, the clip earrings but they're so tiny first of all you'll just see that little tiny pearl stud there in the front with a little bit of silver that has some diamond cutting in it to give it sparkle around the pearl I hope this is the the right setting here so that you can see it. But look how tiny that clip is. Both of them little teeny tiny. You can imagine when I picked this up I was wondering what in the world it was. <laughs> but it's a pair of beautiful little pearl earrings. Nice. Here's another pair of earrings. These are rhinestone earrings. I love the rhinestone jewelry. Love it with a passion. I remember going up in my grandma's bedroom and trying on her jewelry, and she had all kinds of rhinestone jewelry and the clip earrings and the necklaces that just have the little hook with the ball on the back to hook it over. But these are beautiful, and the rhinestones are still gorgeous. They're still... There's n no dead rhinestones. They're all very, very pretty. I was just checking to see if they had a name. I have come across earrings that um, I almost missed it. Um, Monet was around the base of the post, 
and maybe written on the the back of the um, back of the earring. And if I hadn't been inspecting every little bit of it, I would have missed that they were Monet's. So I take the backs off now and I check everything just because you never know. Funny how these are long dangle rhinestone earrings. Very nice. Here we have a clown. And my daughter's not going to look too closely at this because she doesn't like clowns. But he's a cute little guy. He's got some balloons. There's a, a blue crystal-filled balloon, a red crystal-filled balloon, and a green. And he's got the red enameled pants and a green and white enameled jacket. And, of course, his red nose and lips and a black clown hat, all in enameling. Very nice. Oh, and this actually has a C clasp. So this one must be a pretty old one, but it's in very good condition. So there's the C clasp. I don't know if you can see it very well. But he's a cute little clown, I think. Oh my, this is nice. Okay, this is a long, long necklace, or it could be um, a necklace that you wrap around your neck several times, probably about four times. But um, they're black faceted. You know, I'm feeling these. They're very cold. You know, I made myself a necklace of um, faceted black onyx beads, and I made a three-strand necklace. This is cold enough that I would not be afraid to bet that these bigger beads, the faceted beads, the ones in between are seed beads, but I would not be afraid to bet that these bigger beads are actually faceted onyx. And you can see how long this necklace is. I mean, I'll... And then there's a bracelet to go with it. So we could go around your neck four times or hang down and knot it like it is now. Or, like I said, hang it around your neck or just wrap it around two times and then let the knotted pot hang, the part hang down. Um, and then, like I said, it's got a, a stretchy bracelet to go with it. Now, the bracelet beads are faceted like the necklace beads. But the bracelet beads are not cold. I'm actually going to go out on a limb and say these are actually plastic, but these are either black onyx or a very good heavy glass, one or the other. And these are beautiful. I mean, when the, when the light shines on them, um, they just sparkle beautifully. And I love black jewelry, so yeah, I'm almost inclined to think these are actually onyx. And, and, and that's a, a beautiful long onyx necklace. Gorgeous. I definitely feel like a little girl opening up her presents at Christmas time. hear that? Look at this beautiful tin. Can you all see that? It is, let's see, it's nine inches in length and it's four inches in width and it's two and a half inches tall. So this is a nice sizable 
um, tin here. Um, and as soon as I'm done opening up the rest of these little goodies, we're going to open up this little goodie. And look at that um, design on the front. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. And if you want to see the design on the sides as well, too, there's little naked cherubs. <laughs> baggie here. Frugal Gal. You put some beautiful pieces. Ooh, talk about beautiful pieces. This is spectacular. I love this color. And it is signed. This is Joan Rivers. So um, this, I'm pretty sure, will become a collectible because, you know, Joan isn't with us anymore. Oh, you know what? If I had looked at further up on the chain, I would have seen there was a hang tag a little bit bigger than what I was reading on the back of the necklace. Isn't that beautiful, though? That big peach-colored um, coral, corally peach color. I can't even decide. I guess it's more coral than it is peach, but you've got... Um, Two tone, you've got the silver tone and the gold tone, and a nice long chain that you can even take off the the necklace and um, wear on its own. It's beautiful. I don't know if that's what they call the foxtail chain link. I don't know if any of you all can see that or not, but it's almost like a little cage inside. The links are so big that there's like a center in there that you could possibly cage something, but it's very, very nice and well put together. Of course, Joan's um, stuff uh, would be nice and well put together, but here we go. Joan and all of her glory. Isn't that gorgeous? That color is just spectacular. I hope it's showing up good on the uh, camera as, as much as it is here at home. That's pretty. Okay. Aww. Oh. Oh my. Now, if anybody wonders why they call Frugal Gal the brooch lady, I don't think you have to guess anymore. Ooh, all of these are beautiful, and they're all... Oh, nope, they're all three gold tone. And... I have it upside down. Is this Jerry's? No. I'm actually having a hard time reading this one for this little tiny wreath Google gal. So if you remember what it is, you can put in the comments. I won't be excited. There's actually a, it's signed on the back and then it looks like there's also a little cartouche but I'm not sure if that's meant to be a symbol or not. I'm not really sure. But it's a, a very small mini brooch. Isn't that cute? Here's the back with the safety catch brooch. And then here's the front. I think that's adorable. Then here's one that, oh, this is, oh, this is actually not just a brooch this is also a pendant and it's got the um the back opening that you can open it up not just a 
a loop back there, it's actually an enhancer. You can put that on any, you can just open it up and pull it. You don't have to slide it off uh, a long length of bead. You just open it up like that. And then it has this beautiful pearl here in the center and a beautiful drop pearl as well too. I think this looks very Victorian. I could see this at the top of a buttoned up blouse. Very, very beautiful. Oh, did I check that one for a name? You know, it's funny how somebody could make a piece of jewelry and make it well and not sign it. I mean, I would think they would want to sign something that's as beautiful as this. I don't know. Just me. Just my thinking. Okay, this one is a brooch as well. And as you can see, it's like a little, just a little small bouquet of, I would say maybe, okay. okay, they put me in the mind of what, you know, a little bouquet of cat of nine tails. I don't know if everyone knows what cat of nine tails are, but they grow in swampy areas. Pussy willows. Pussy willows and cat of nine tails are two different things. Pussy willows have little teeny tiny buds that are grayish or whitish in color. And cat of nine tails are like this much longer. They're like this long and they're brown. They're kind of furry. Uh, That's what you furry. always called a pussy willow when I was a kid. Oh. And this does have a marking on the back. Sometimes I swear I have these upside down because it doesn't look like English as we know it. I cannot... I cannot read it. I'm going to have to come back to it and read it later on. That is gorgeous, though. And there you can see the pin on the back as well. Here you can see a kitty cat. And I don't know if you all know, but... We have a few cats in our house, so we love our kitty cats. This is a cute profile of a little cat sitting there just looking off into space. And it says Vero on the back. V as in Vicky, E-R-O. So I've not had that name before. But, you know, I'm convinced sometimes that um, the jewelry that we get out of our jewelry jars, and this is what I find interesting because we all live in different locations. And um, I tend to get a good bit of silver in my jars, which is good, you know, if you want to sell the silver. But um, the main reason I started doing this, and here's the signature on the back, Vero, if you can see it. I don't know if you can read it or not. But um, I did it to for the, the vintage jewelry. I mean it's an added plus that I get so much silver but um, I did it for the vintage jewelry and I don't get as much vintage jewelry <laughs> as I would like to I'm not complaining about the silver of course oh, yeah this one I'm pretty sure yes it says Sarah Coventry Sarah Cub is actually what it says. And this is a gorgeous little uh, flower and a flower inside of the flower and all the little leaves. Very pretty. As you can see, it's got the safety, clash, safety clasp on the back. Oh, I know Frugal Gal loves her leaves, so this must have been a lot for her to part with. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? 
And look at the, the tender little curl of the leaf. Makes you wonder how they did this back in the day. This one is signed as well, too. Oh, you know what? This is one that I have never gotten, and it's signed on the bottom of the pin secure and also on a chartreuse as well. This one is Lisner, and I've never gotten a Lisner, and I'm pretty sure it's because of my location. Um, I get more Native American than I get <laughs> signed like Lisner and James Avery. I'm just dying to get one of one of Thelma Thrift's um, jewelry jars. She gets her beautiful James Avery out of her jars. However, I have pulled a few nice things out of my jars, so I'm not going to complain. Look at this beautiful brooch. <clears throat> and look at the, the chain hanging down from one end to the other. And here you see the back. And I don't know if you can see the chartreuse right there, but it says Monet. Frugal gal, you done gave away your money. What does what does Monet mean? Money. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. And I love Monet. Another one that I like is um, Napier as well. And I'm not sure if you say it Napier or if you say it Napier. I don't know. It's French, so I like Napier, but, um, you know. I think they would pronounce the R. I think it would be like Napier. Napier? I don't know. I just know that it um, makes me want to say it the fancy way just because. Like Target. Target. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ooh, here we got a little bag of rings. Oh, there it is. In one of her last videos, she found a, um, a, a sterling silver ring. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is it. Yep, I see the 925 on there. And it's a little bit flat on the bottom, but that's okay. I will fix it. I will put it on my ring mandrel and work it a little bit. Nice. Oh, there we go. That'll probably be the finger that it sits on. Nice. Oh, we have several rings here. Here we have a gold tone. This has a pretty pink stone in it. It doesn't say anything on the inside. But that stone is really pretty. The silver, a lot of the silver is worn off. But I bet somebody would still wear this ring just because that pretty stone. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that pretty pink stone in there, but there it is. You can see it sparkle. Okay. Here's an adjustable ring. You can see how it can adjust on the bottom. Ooh, this has a really nice... This is a really nice... big setting. And then it's got a halo of white crystals around the big um, cognac-looking crystal. I like that word, too, cognac. <laughs> I think the stone's beautiful. Ooh, and here we go. This is a nice... Now, this one's adjustable as well, too. The best on my hand, um, because um, of the obvious, but it's a beautiful ring, and it'll look beautiful on somebody's hand. It's enameled. The petals are enameled on the outside, and then you have um, some uh, a cabochon here in the center, and I think the center is plastic, but the outside is definitely enameling. Very nice. 
Now I slid it on my middle finger and I would wear about a size 7 on my middle finger but this is an adjustable ring so you can adjust it. And here we have one of those um, stretchy rings, definitely adjustable. And this one is very pretty as well. Look at that, all those crystals embedded in there. And it's open between the petals too. Now, I wear a small ring size. I wear a size 5. So um, this is for those of you who have smaller fingers. It will fit a smaller finger, but it will stretch for um, a larger finger as well, too. And I would wear like a 7 or a 7.5 on my index finger. Here we have, ooh, here's a nice, big, pretty, I'm sure this is a, a CZ. The color that's coming out of there is dazzling. It'll blind you. You'll blind other drivers driving down the road. Now this says NVC on the inside and size 7. So we know what size it is. And NVC, is that... Um, someone who makes uh, jewelry for Avon, perhaps. I know they have a lot of makers that make jewelry for them, but I don't know if NVC is one of them. But that's a beautiful ring. Ooh. Oh, okay. Here we have what Cindy, the jewelry nurse, and Angie, treasured vintage, have is what you call a demi perer, I believe is the term, where you have at least two pieces of a set. This is beautiful. And you know, at first glance, I thought the green was verdigris, but I don't think it is. I think it's supposed to, like you um, put the pickling juice on to get the, um, the verdigris-like color. I think that's what this is. I think that this is something that someone designed to look like this. And then as you go up the chain, you've got a couple of more stations of these beads. So you have these beads in the smaller and then the earrings in the next smaller and then the pendant in the biggest one. And that's a brass tone with the green, I can't remember what the exact pickling, um, what they call it, I just know they call it pickling when they put it in to make it green, but that's gorgeous. So that one has the necklace and earrings to go with it. And the earrings are lever back. can see they open in the back like the clips do only they're for pierced ears nice if y'all hear a cat meowing in the background it's my little Katie bug She's trying to call me back so she can get some pets. <laughs> Here is, ooh, ooh, okay. This is nice. I thought for sure I was going to find a name on there. Here we have a bracelet that is seven inches in length. And it's made out of seashells. And it's got a box clasp, like the other ones did. And then it also has the earrings to go with it. So here are the earrings, and they're clipped back. There's no name in them either, but sometimes when you're looking at jewelry, and I'm not sure why they do this, they will put a mark on one earring 
and not the other. I'm not sure why they do that, because if you lose one of the earrings, you have no clue that it's a marked piece of jewelry. So here are the earrings to match with the bracelet. Very nice silver tone, of course. Better keep an eye so that if it gets close to that eight minutes, I don't go rambling. Ooh, lots of things in here. Ooh, okay. Now this is different. It's all falling together though. That is nice. Here we have a bracelet. <laughs> and this one is marked. It says, what did you say, Shauna? Napier? Not. They wouldn't pronounce the R. So okay. It'd be like Napier. Napier? 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 Nice. Okay, so the last two little links, I have to play with them. They're probably just upside down. But that is pretty. I like how... There we go. Maybe. Anyhow. That's how it hangs. And it is a box clasp, and it is... A napier. <laughs> That's how I'm going to say it, napier. That's how the French would say it. Oh, oh my, this is pretty. It almost looked like there was a set in here. Oh, no, okay. Oh, this is beautiful, fr frugal gal. This is absolutely gorgeous. This actually looks to me like, um, gosh, Five, I've only... Four, three, two, one. I've only seen Carla, Princess Casserole, have some of these. This almost looks like the Damascene, which is sort of like the, um, oh my gosh, now I can't think of the one with the enameling and the gold. Now I'm going to feel stupid. I'll, I'll remember it at 2 o'clock in the morning, y'all. Anyhow, it has a little insertion clasp like that. And it has a safety chain on there. I love it when they have the safety chains. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, I hope you're watching this, Carla. Damascene? Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not seeing properly um, from your video, but this is very pretty. Very pretty. Um, let me see if I can see how long that is. It's seven and a half inches long. So that's gorgeous. Oh my, I like that a lot. Are you talking about cloisonne? Cloisonne, yes, that's the other one. Enameling with gold, but this is just metal and gold. And I think that's the word that um, Carla called it, um, Damascene, but I might be mistaken or I might be pronouncing it incorrectly. I don't know. I'm from rural Pennsylvania, so back there, there were actually quite a few words that um, we would mispronounce. However, when I moved to Virginia, I learned proper. <laughs> Don't want to use the word proper. I learned Virginian. Let's put it that way. And then we had to readapt when we came out here to Arizona, but I speak like an Arizonian now. I'm just laughing. My daughter's rolling her eyes at me. Okay. Here's another gold tone chain. 
with a box clasp. Nice. You'll see um, sort of like a wavy rectangle and then a stone, a crystal, a wavy rectangle, a crystal. So all the crystals are here. Let's see how long this one is. This one is just a hair shy of eight inches. Nice. And here's the box clasp on it. No name that I can see. Pretty. I know I've got a big pile of jewelry mounting up here. I'm going to have to go buy two more trays to store my jewelry in. <laughs> okay, here's a bracelet with a box clasp that um, looks like it should have a safety clasp. And oh, by the way, can you see what the hang tag says? It says Monet. So I'm going to have to find a little gold-filled chain that I can put on there so it'll have its clasp back again. But that's nice. Nice, and it's signed on the back of the box clasp as well. Nice. This jewelry is very clean as well, too. I know a lot of the jewelry I get in jewelry jars is not this clean, so I know the frugal gal had to have her work cut out for her cleaning all of this jewelry up. Nice. Yeah, I'll have to get a gold filled chain. Like 10 minutes. Pardon? I'm going to have to leave in like 10 minutes. Okay. Well, we've got about 10 minutes, and then my daughter has to go pick up her daughter. So, um, we may have to stop, but so maybe we're down to nine minutes now. Here we have another bracelet, and it's a lobster claw, lobster claw clasp, so it's not as old as the box clasp or the spring ring. I think the lobster claw clasp came out maybe, was it the 90s or the 80s? At any rate, um, this... is again our French word and this has a twisted pearl it has a chain and then it has pearls strung through the chain so you've got like a blending of the pearls and the chain it's gold tone mm. and once again Napier you can see it right there on the tag that's connected to the clasp. Very pretty and delicate. Nice. Okay. Here we have... Oh, now this is clever. I have not seen an adjustable bracelet like this before. Here we have a bracelet that says Hope and it's got a little pendant up here with um, two little beads holding it in place and up at the top here you've got one side of the bracelet with a little um, crystal and the other side of the bracelet with a little crystal and it goes through this little barrel here and you can open and close it to make it larger or smaller that's cute so this might be one of the um, original um, jewelry adjusters, adjustments. That is very cute. I'm not seeing anything written on the back so far, but that is very clever. Of course, this might be a newer piece. I don't know. We have another bracelet, and okay, I'm looking. Here's a fish. Let me look at it this way. Here's a fish. Here's a bear. What 
of sad. Oh, here's an eagle. Here's another bear and a fish, but what is in the middle there? It, it looks like a person down on its hands and knees. I am, hold on a second. I'm having a hard time reading what's on the back of this because it says, hold on, two, one, 